Hello, I'm Pippa Jacks from TTG. I'm here at the Caribbean Ball with Alec Sanguinetti, the Director General and CEO of the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association. Alec, I know you've had a couple of very busy days um, over in London. Could you perhaps tell us a little bit about who you've been meeting with in the last two days and how those meetings have gone regarding APD? Well, thank you, Pippa, and it's lovely to see you again here in, shall I say, sunny London intermittently. Uh, we, we've had uh, very good meetings with the Department of Treasury, the Foreign Office, uh, representatives from the House of Lords and also the House of Commons. We've been on this air passenger duty mission since 2008 and I must say that we are very encouraged with the meetings we've had in the last two days. We found the response this time to be far more detailed uh, far more positive and encouraging uh, than in the past. So I don't. I think that the uh, speech uh, by the Chancellor of the Exchequer in his budget speech earlier on this year, when he specifically mentioned the inequity in the air passenger duty in regards to the Caribbean, I think that sent a very clear message. So um, we are very pleased with what's taking place in the last two days. And we know that uh, APD has already started to impact on UK travel to the Caribbean and UK arrivals have dropped by maybe sort of 18% since between 2008 and 2010. I wondered how long you think it will be if this decline continues before we see some casualties, whether that's hotel closures or airlines reducing their capacity to the Caribbean? Well, you already see uh, hotels under pressure. Uh, the available room rate and the rev power rates are down 15 to 18 percent still compared to 2008. Now that's not entirely due to air passenger duty but the recent increases in air passenger duty uh, does not help. Compared to last year for a family of four to go from England to the Caribbean it's a thousand pounds more and that's because of currency exchange, fuel surcharge and increases in airfare. So just a thousand pounds more, okay? Air, air, the hotels are having to discount anywhere between 30 and 40 percent. So the hotels are really absorbing the increase in their passenger duty to try and remain competitive. In regards to how long, Hopefully we'll get a positive response in October this year, this year to air passenger duty on the rebanding issue. If that comes about, then it'll make us more competitive. So you'll just have two bands, short haul and long haul. I won't go into the details as to the recommendation that we also made in terms of rates on that. But it, it's revenue neutral what we proposed. We do not really see a turnaround in our industry until 2012. Uh, 2011 is going to be a challenge in here for us in the Caribbean, as it's turning out to be. Mm -hmm. 